It was a beautiful day to learn to fly, but just minutes into a first flight lesson over Long Island, the engine failed, and an emergency landing was the only option. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch with the drama. It's not the sight you'd expect to see at Sunken Meadow State Park. A single engine Cessna parked on the sand. Around 11 this morning, this stretch of beach became an emergency landing strip. So I decided to land on the beach to serve the long of my life. That's it. Very simple. The pilot, Robert Coletti, says he was just minutes out of Republic Airport giving a first flight lesson in what's known as the North Practice Area when the engine failed at 3,000 feet up. He radioed for help. He talked to me, declared mayday, 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 and then that was it. I was able to get that he had two souls on board before he went down. Has this ever happened to you before? No, I flew 35 years, and this is the first time. He did what he was trained to do. He found a place to land the plane. He landed it safely on the beach. John Cronley is a co-owner of Long Island Aviators and the plane. He says this is the first time his company has ever experienced engine failure during flight. But it's a scenario every pilot trains for. He was actually over here. Okay. He picked out a place to land, and he came what we call downwind. Uh -huh. He went downwind, turned base, and he landed into okay. the wind along the beach. Nothing but sand. Coletti had roughly two minutes to glide from 3,000 feet to safety. What about your student that was with you? How did he react? He trusts me. He trusts me. The student, believe it or not, it was his first lesson, and they're going to fly again tomorrow. A second shot at a first flight lesson. Brave choice, considering how today's attempt ended. From Sunken Meadow State Park, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.